WFNN. Headline News Update. Okay, folks, Larry Pesavento for TFNN. I want to uh, start off today looking at the cash S&P chart that I have focused here. Uh, this shows you that we've had a gap up into new high ground. It's been here for five days. The S&P has made new highs by just a small amount, but has not closed above that level. The NASDAQ has uh, shattered this level and has gone above it and then has come back down below it a little bit. The Dow Jones Industrial Average uh, made a new high by 10 points and has now dropped 300 points and has only been able to rally back 100 points of that, which happened to be at the 382, by the way. So this is showing a little bit of uh, what we call uh, uh, bifurcation, as old Basil Chapman said. Now, I don't look at all the different sectors, you know, the consumer specialty sectors. This was long before my time, folks. We had those ETFs, and I'm a I'm not a stock trader, never professed to be, but I, it's a bar chart, so that much I know about. If we just take a look at this chart right here, and someone brought this to my attention, but we had a low back here on February 12th, Mr. Reagan's birthday, and if you put, excuse me, President Reagan's birthday, and if you put the ABCD on this, it measured it measured to 52.27, okay, and that tells us that we are right above that level, or right just above that level right now, we're at 52.29. Uh, so this may or may not be a high. The other factor that we look at when we're looking at a high is to see if there's symmetry between the high and the low, which as you can see, we had 31 trading days uh, to the upside. And if you move this over, you'll see that 31 trading days to the upside doesn't occur until uh, June the 5th. So this thing could go up a lot higher. Now, we are seeing, you know, some discrepancies in what's going up and what's going down in these markets. So sort of pay attention. The big news, of course, is NVIDIA. Everybody's expecting 1,050 on that stock come Wednesday uh, when their report is out. So we'll have to take a look at it. That's the news that I got from Bloomberg here this morning. Also, we're going to have a new guest tomorrow. Blair Whedon is a, uh, a financial guy. He also understands GAN and he also understands astrology. He's going to be our guest tomorrow at 1.30. Today we have John Person. So stay tuned, folks. A lot of stuff to look at. We'll be right back.